Welcome again to Sporting Triangles, the quiz game which gives all the family the chance to test their knowledge of sport along with the stars. We've questions ranging from the tough to the trivial, so let's meet the teams who will be rolling the dice tonight. Jimmy Greaves is our resident captain in the red team, specialising tonight in tennis with the help of one of Britain's top players, Annabel Croft. Tessa Sanderson's our captain in the green team. She's taking on football as the specialist sport, with expert help from Scotland's Andy Gray. <laughs> Snooker star Dennis Taylor's in the visiting captain seat in the yellow team. Motorsports, the specialist subject. And who better as a partner than the man who came so close to winning the World Grand Prix Drivers' Championship, Nigel Mansell. Just time for a quick explanation of how we play the game. It's played on a three-sided board. Each team has its own colour to represent the specialist sport. It's one point if you land on your own colour and answer correctly. If you land on your opponent's colour and answer correctly, you still score one point and the square changes to your colour. You score two points if you answer correctly on a white square, which can be on any sport. Now, if you get a question wrong, it automatically gets passed on to the next team, and the team with the most points wins the game. So let's get on now and play Sporting Triangles. <laughs> Will the red team please roll the dice? Really clever saying all that. <laughs> press, press the button, that's it. Let's get Have started. a four, which takes you on to a white square. Oh. Start with, so it's a red team straight on to a general mm. sports question for two points. Can you identify this sportsman in some difficulty trying a different game? No problem. <laughs> go, on, then. go on, I'll leave it to you. Right. It looks like Harvey Smith. It is indeed Harvey Smith. Well done. Good start. <laughs> oh, very clever getting that. Excellent. Good start. Yeah, smashing, smashing. It won't help you, though. Come on, can you roll the dice, but please? We know it won't help us, Nicholas. A two. It's a useful start for you, isn't it? A green square. Football question for the football team. Who once said, football is a rat race, and the rats <gasps> are winning. Was You're it Don Revie, George Best, or Tommy Doherty? I thought it was a Luton uh, chairman. Wait a minute. minute. <laughs> 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 well, um, oh, I think I'll leave it to I think it must have been the dark. Dark. It was Tommy Doherty. Who else? <laughs> Will the yellow team please roll you the dice? Put Nigel in the driving seat, I think. There you go. Three. Vicious, that, wasn't it? Right. Which takes you on to a red square. It's a tennis question for the yellow team, and of course, it's your chance to capture a red square. At the inaugural US <coughs> Open Tennis Championships in 1968, who won the women's singles title? Was it Billie Jean King, Margaret Court, or Virginia Wade? Definitely a tennis player, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> American Billie Jean. Come on. Mm. No, we, we've got to we'll go, go for, for the local yeah, girls. We'll go for Virginia. Virginia, Virginia Wade. It was Virginia Wade, correct. I wouldn't have got that. You wouldn't have got that? I wouldn't have got that, no. Well, let's, you're very modest. Let's see how you get on now. Roll the dice, please. Well turned over there. Fancy, fancy Dennis letting, letting Nigel drive. Good <laughs> lord. Right. A two. And a green. Football for Jimmy and Annabelle. Which uh -oh. football team, concentrate, yeah. plays its home games at... Twerton Park. Is it oh, Arbroath, God. Newport County, or Bristol Rovers? Well, it's not them. <laughs> Twerton Park. <laughs> Twerton Park. I'm going to have to move it on. <laughs> Twerton <laughs> Park. It's. Uh, oh, we'll go for Newport County. You'll go for Newport mm -hmm. County. You go wrong, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Twerp County. Who, no, did, you, did, you, who did you say? Twerton Park. Twerton Park. Sounds like Twerp Park. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think I'm... No, it's isn't. No, I don't think so, no. I, 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 I think... No, I'll go for Bristol Rovers. That's right. You go for Bristol Rovers. That's right. Absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't. I thought he was. You know why? Because I played at a Broth and I remember it wasn't called yeah. Twerton Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, Bristol Rovers had to leave their ground, didn't they? Oh, yeah, I'm sweating then. Oh, I thought I was going to say, well oh, done. Oh. So it's your turn next. Here we go. Roll the Hello. dice, please. Yeah, have a press. <laughs> Bench break. You've got a five. <laughs> Which means a white one. Now, oh, we're going to look be, at some tricky. judo action. It's from a European <laughs> Championship staged in Belgium. <laughs> 
I want you to tell us the name of the man winning his fourth European title. Yeah, You're looking very confident here. I want the answer yep, now. Yeah, we've got it sussed. Top one got it. Neil Adams. It was Neil Adams, indeed, of Great Britain. <laughs> Who, as you know, was beating the Hungarian Fogarasi at the time. All right, on to the yellow team. Please roll the dice. Right, I'll let it go, shall I? Yeah, go on. Give his motor rest and two. Please. Which takes you on to yellow. Oh. Your own subject, of course, of motorsport. I'm sure you'll be able to name this Grand Prix driver. He's a racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing very Ricardo well, Ricardo Patrese. It is indeed Ricardo Patrese. Correct. So let me just bring you up to date with the latest scores as we stand at this stage in the competition. The red team and the yellow team have the same score of two points each, but in the lead, the green team of Tessa and Andy with four points. So, red team, roll the dice, please. Oh, give it a volley, Annabelle. That's it. <laughs> Looks like Where a three. Well, what have we gone on? Red. It's a tennis question, then, for the tennis team. Something unusual happened at a celebration party arranged for Chris Everett Lloyd's 1,000th victory. Did no one turn up? Oh. Did the cake catch fire? Or did she get engaged? I was there. The cake caught fire. The cake did catch yeah. fire. Yes, a burning question for well you. Well done. As you can see in the picture, there you are. Annabelle was there. <laughs> I'm sure it looked just like that, didn't it, Annabelle? <laughs> Very good. Come Green team, roll the dice, please. Come on, baby. A three. Three. Two, yellow. Motorsport. <laughs> Which country... <laughs> Motorsport. ...in 1986 staged the first motor racing Grand Prix to be held behind the Iron Curtain? Was it Yugoslavia, Hungary or Czechoslovakia? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> OK. Yeah. Uh, well, I go to Hungary and train a lot, so I'm going to go for there. Hungary. You're right. I'm sick in that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific start for Tessa tonight. You've been practicing, Tessa. <laughs> Yellow tea. Can you, could you have answered that? I don't know. Right. Roll it tight. <laughs> and you have a two, which means white. Oh, no. It's general sport, then. The subject is American football. We're going to watch a clip of action from America. The offensive line punts the ball. The referee calls an infringement. We want you to guess the rest. It calls an infringement. We've got to guess. What's an infringement? <laughs> got to guess what? a foul. Right, the num <laughs> number eight. Did number eight do something with the uh, referee? No, it definitely, it's a physical game, so it definitely gets physical. It does get he didn't physical, do a, I suppose. He didn't do an Alex Higgins and head but the referee, did he? No. <laughs> we'll pass that on then to the red team. No, 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 we haven't finished yet. Haven't you? No, 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 no. no. Oh, no it's just a guess. Oh. Um, gets very physical. Someone falls out with somebody and uh, wallops them. I can't give you that. Oh, Nick. Oh. Red team. Hmm. Um. That's difficult. He just punted the ball away, didn't he? He didn't show anything else. Uh, any ideas, Annabelle? You're struggling, aren't you? Something with the Can I go on to the green? Say so the ref, the, 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 the referee wasn't mic'd up, and therefore no one understood what he said. No, it's totally wrong. Like you. But we think on. we know. Oh my goodness! What um, a night you're having, we Tessa. Well, we, we sort of tried know. bits and dots together. We, we might be right. Just okay. from the picture, though. Just okay. from the picture. We think the ref goes in and tries to sort of. Recognize he's showing the, the, the crowd offense. what the infringement was, and we and think he swings his arm the back and hits the number eight right in the helmet and knocks his head off. Knocks, he knocks him in the face, knocks That's him across the on. face, or something. Spot yeah. on. <laughs> Can't believe it. Do you want to see it? Please. Let's just, no, not let's really. just, please. No, you're right. So let's just see exactly what did happen in this uh, American football match. Wait. Watch the referee here. This is the strike gentleman making a few signs. <laughs> So 
So there you are. Well done to the green team. They're racing away tonight. You're under pressure, James and Annabelle. <laughs> Off you go. Roll the dice, please. Good How can you Five. be under pressure from the green oh, team? Dear. <laughs> it's a yellow. Which is Motorsport. What? Oh, thank you very much, Nick. What, <laughs> what nationality is the former World Rally Drivers Champion, Walter Rohl? Is he West German, Swiss or Swedish? Should know this one. Swiss Rohl. Uh, <laughs> yes. Swiss roll. He's Swedish. He's got to be Swedish. He's Swedish? Yeah. Nope. We're doing a minute now. Wait, listen. He's got, he's got yeah. Yeah. one of the others. Well, gets that easier, sounds, doesn't that it? That sounds kind of Germany, doesn't it? Yeah. He said Swiss roll. No. Yeah. yeah, but roll, roll sounds like Germany, so we'll go for West Germany. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't actually won a competition yet, have you? So it's quite an important Oh, thanks, night, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Look, I'm getting excited on your behalf. Will you, will you roll the dice, please? It's our go. Go on, then. i better do it again. Yeah, you better. You've got a four. That's a red. We're going to look at uh, John McEnroe oh. having one of his familiar tantrums on the tennis court. Spot when we shut him up, as it were, we want you to guess the rest. Mistakes so far in this match, right? You have an overall anything. No mistakes whatsoever. Sick as hell, kids. Answer my question! The question, jerk! <laughs> Charming. Yeah. Can you guess the rest? Well, if I was a judge, I'd have got down and stuck one on him, but yeah. I, mean, I don't think that happened. <laughs> is that, I think, is uh, that your answer? Yeah. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Tish has got it. I don't know. I, I think he goes back and smashes his racket up or something, does he? But it's the way he smashes his racket up, you see. Um... He's ready to spin round, watch it. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just he's got a nervous twitch in my left leg, no, it's all right. Uh, he goes wait. back towards the... And plays towards the, the baseline, and he turns round again. Give him a bit he more time, he his rack, he goes like that <laughs> the ball, and his racket flies out his hand and hits the stand that the, the judge is sitting on. I can't give you that. Oh. No, he smashes his racket up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a replay? <laughs> no, we can't have a replay. But he does smash he his smashes racket. his racket. <laughs> but it's how he smashes his record. Is that record? <laughs> his record. Record. It's not specific enough, I'm afraid. Um, we haven't finished yet, Nick. Oh, right. <laughs> you go. I timed I you. Don't you gave them two minutes. Of time. <laughs> he smashes his racket on the on the, uh, on the side on, of on the, the chair, of the, the umpire's chair. chair. No. no oh, well, well I, I once played I against know. John McEnroe, you know. <laughs> I did, I did. One game, he served four aces, I didn't see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable. I reckon he, the referee fined him for being in breach of something or other, what they say, two penalty points. Well, what? no, I can't oh. give you that. I mean, you're no, all... You wouldn't give it, even if it was right, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're all fairly close. He smashed the cups. The, the tantrum continues. And, and he, he smashes the he cups. Smashes... just said that. The what? cups. Does he smash the cups? She just said that. Yeah, he does smash late. the cups. Too late. Knocks the water over. I still... All oh, right, I'm going to give it to you. He's actually oh, then... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Look, we can see it happening now. Is that yeah. what happens? Good. Answer my question! The question, jerk! Well, well done, played. Annabelle. Well done. Because if so, we'd have not got that, I'd have said this game was slightly that way in the green <laughs> face. <laughs> and the, uh, he, he was then penalised for what's politely called racket abuse, which I thought was a wonderful yeah. understatement for what yeah. happened there. You did so well there we are, as we approach the halfway stage. Let me bring you up to date with the scores. And instantly, I gave you that because I felt sorry for you, Annabelle, working with Jim. <laughs> uh, the yellow team, Dennis and Nigel, have two points. The red team, Jim and Annabelle, have four. But in the lead with eight points, the green team, Tessa and Andy. <laughs> So let's find out if they can keep it up. Join us again after the break. And welcome back to Sporting Triangles, where the green team of Tessa and Andy Gray are in the lead, but please don't adjust your set. 
It's pretty wonderful. Let's start with the yellow team in the second half. Dennis we're, and we're Nigel, roll the dice, please. Run ahead. Come on, together, mate. Come on, then. Team effort this time. It's a six. Oops, Takes you round to red. It's tennis. <laughs> Who was the last British player to win a Wimbledon title? Was it Sue Barker, Virginia Wade, or John Lloyd? Uh, John Lloyd. It was John Lloyd, who won the mixed doubles oh, in <laughs> You're looking very bitter tonight, Jim. Will you roll no, the no, dice, please? He hasn't won many mixed doubles since, has he, John Lloyd? I feel sorry for him, really. <laughs> why, why are you carrying an Annabelle's ice pack? has got to face these people. She's what? carrying an ice pack This with is her. my injury bag. Just is in case it? it gets nasty out here. Right, roll the mm. dice, please. You need all the time you can get. We need a decent means, question as well. Yeah. Onto a white square. General sport then for Jimmy and Annabelle. Right, so Can you identify this British golfer? Oh, God. <laughs> um. You obviously can't. Yes. Eamon Darcy. Is wrong. No chance. No chance. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's a fellow countryman of mine. Mr. Bernard Gallagher. Is right. And it's your turn next. Roll the dice, oh, please. I'll let him go. Oh. <laughs> Keep calm. It's a five. Oh. Right, we're going to watch uh, Gary Lineker scoring a World Cup goal for England against Poland. Afterwards, can you tell us who is the only other England player to score a World Cup goal in Mexico? <sighs> Beardsley. Superbly done for Hodge. Lineker is in the middle. Lineker! Brilliant! Oh, that was a good moment. Who is the other England player to score a World Cup goal? I'll have a guess. Hold on, hold on. No, time is pressing. You're way out in the lead. It can't be kind. Uh, well, I don't know, but it's the only name I heard on there. Is it that Beardsley fella? You're right. You're again. definitely right this game. Hey, Jimmy, I didn't know. And here he comes no, now. Yes, here no. And here's Butcher. And Bentley! 2-0! Oh, I didn't know. Terrific stuff. Right, let's have I've the other I've been reading team. your books, Jimmy. <laughs> Can we have less noise, please, at the back? Roll the dice, please. Oh, I'm not touching this. No, no, no. Go on. Go on, then. I haven't had a snooker question, yeah? It's a three and a white. General sport, then. Should suit Dennis, actually. Tell us who is the youngest player to reach a major professional snooker final. Stephen Hendry, Jimmy White, or John Parrott? A major professional A major snooker. professional snooker final. Uh, um, does doubles apply as well? I would have thought so. It's major. Well, St it? Stephen Hendry, then. Is quite correct. <laughs> and, of course, you're referring to the Hofmeister world doubles, aren't you? Red team, are you ready to roll well, the dice? Give it, give it an overhead slam. <laughs> a one. That's oh. pretty pathetic, wasn't it? Come off the wood. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> this is motorsport. Oh. Oh. When Alan Jones won the World Grand Prix Drivers' Championship in 1980, which make of car did he drive? Was it Tyrrell or Tyrrell, shall I say, Williams or Lotus? Williams. It was. Yeah. Well, no, it was. So let me bring you up to date with the latest scores. The red team and the yellow teams are actually tying still on five points each, but way out in front, the green team of Tessa and Andy with 11 points. <laughs> and it's your turn next. Well, on, any back. consolation, I wouldn't have got that last one, Jim. No, we were, we were struggling for the last one, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a four. <laughs> And it is a white square. General sport, cycling. Oh, you take out. this. <laughs> Who won the 1986 <laughs> Tour de France? Was it Bernard Eno, Jupp Zuttermelk, or Greg LeMond? No, we'll, we'll go for That's real unknown. outside. We'll go for the, this Greg LeMond oh, person. You're amazing tonight. <laughs> Greg 
Greg Lamond, it is indeed. Right, the yellow team, roll the dice. You've got a lot of ground to make up. A lot of ground, Tessie. Uh, <laughs> uh, you've got a three. one wrong, Tessie. A yellow square. Right, we're looking at some action in a moment. From Quiet Please, from the practice day for the first Birmingham Super Prix last August before the bank holiday monsoon hit the race itself. Can you tell us where the other British round of the Formula 3000 Championship was held in 1986? Oh, this is an easy one. It was in England. <laughs> it was definitely in England. <laughs> That's pretty clever. And it, <laughs> Mind you, it's British. And it, it rains as well. I didn't want that in the answer. Um, probably Are you get Mark deducted for being clever. Oh, yes, Silverstone. Silverstone is right. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Red team next. Roll Too the dice, long. please. Glad they got that, because we didn't have a clue, thing. did we? Go on, Gotta then. do mighty well to win tonight. You've got a three. We're mighty confident. well to win tonight. That's a white square. General sport. Right. It's cricket. Oh. Cricket. Which county has this? not finished out of the top eight in the county championship in any season since 1974. Is it Essex, Kent, or Middlesex? 74. Since 74. Since 74. Not finished out of the top eight. Yeah, I'd say it was Middlesex myself, but do you want to go for no, your no, home? No, 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 you go. Well, that's my home county. That's, that's mine. Home county. So we'll, we'll go, go, we'll go Middlesex. for Middlesex. You're quite wrong. Mm. Oh. Thought we might be. Well, none of them is our county. Definitely the not. other lot. <laughs> so you have a guess. We'll go. Go, shall we? Well, I don't know. We'll go for Essex. You're right. What a night. <laughs> what a staggering night for the green team. Tessa, who's only tied once and never won before, has tonight won and quite easily. Let me just give you the final scores. The red team, Jim and Annabelle, with five points. The yellow team, Dennis and Nigel, have uh, six points. But the outright winners by a mile tonight in the green team, Tessa and Andy, with 15. <laughs> Do I get the impression you're quite excited? I think we are. I'm quite calm, actually, isn't it? What do you put it down to, then, this sudden surge of success? Reading Jimmy's books. Inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, anyway, to both of you, and well done to all our teams. And thanks to Jimmy and Annabelle in the red team. You, you don't mean that. You don't mean that. And yeah. we say goodbye and thank you to the green team, the winners tonight. That, we of course, you. is Tessa and Andy. <laughs> And, of course, Dennis and Nigel in the yellow. Thanks very much. And thanks to you for watching tonight our game of Sporting Triangles. For now, from all of us here, a very good night.